Now that the plan had been decided on, next day must decide how far each division would go in the attack on Zed Day. Division attack towards the village of Olivares with 34th Division on its right and next corps with 32nd Division on the left with 70 Brigade on the left, 23rd Brigade in the centre and 25th Brigade on the right they would advance and capture all three objectives. The German defenders were on the native regiment the first objective for 25th Brigade, 23rd Brigade and 70th Brigade would be the capture of the first German intermittent line which includes the western face of the German strong point Overwork in the centre and the village of Olivers on the right. The three brigades will now advance to capture the second objective, the second German intermittent line. This involved the area south of Mucha farm stops just in front of Posietz. The three brigades will now push on to the third and final objective, which will be the capture of the German second position on the right past Mucha farm and the capture of Posietz, stopping just in front of the German second position on the right. The final objective will be reached after 2 hours 40 minutes. The German strong points at the Nova work on the fortified village of Olivetz will need to be destroyed in the 5 day bombardment, otherwise heavy casualties will be caused by machine gun fire in these positions. 34th Division will attack towards the village of Lobessel with 8th Division on the left and 21st Division of 15 Corps on the right with 102nd Brigade on the left and 101st Brigade on the right they would advance and capture the first two objectives and the 3rd Brigade would advance through them and capture the 3rd and final objective a position just in front of the German 2nd position the German defenders were 110th Reserve Regiment the first objective for 101st Brigade and 102nd Brigade was to capture the German 1st Intermittent Line on the left and centre, stopping just before Bailiff Wood and Peak Wood on the right. The Bressau village would not be directly attacked, but pinched out by attacks either side, with bombing parties entering the village to deal with the German defenders. Brigade's second objective was to capture Colton Maison Wood in the centre, and to capture the German second intermittent line, the Kaiser Grabon, just in front of Colton Maison, be captured after 1 hour 30 minutes, and the 3rd Brigade would now pass on through and the 1st Brigade and 102nd Brigade, the 3rd and final objective, which would be the capture of Cosy Maison, an acid drop corpse on the right, halting about 800 yards in front of the German 2nd position. The German strong point at the Schwaben Hill would be destroyed by the mine. mine, Lower Mine, Weissap would be fired under the German front line, close to the Bressel village, to form craters which would block enfilade the fire from the Brasso village against advancing units. The Germans strong points at Sausage Redoubt, Scots Redoubt and the fortified village of Brosso and Olivero would need to be destroyed in the five day bombardment. Otherwise heavy casualties would be caused by machine gun fire in these positions. Twenty first division will attack towards the village Free Corps with 7th Division on its right and 3 Corps 34th Division on its left with 64th Brigade on the left, 63rd Brigade in the centre and 50th Brigade of 17th Division on the right. Only one battalion of 50th Brigade would advance, the rest would only advance to catch a 3 Corps when the second objective had been captured. 62nd Brigade would advance later on. The German defenders were 110th Reserve Regiment on the left and 111th Reserve Regiment on the right. The first objective for 63rd Brigade and 64th Brigade was the German 1st Intermittent Line Crucifix Trench. The Italian of 50 Brigade would advance and form a protected flank north of Free Corps. The Brigade's second objective was the German 2nd Intermittent Line on the left Quadrangle Trench and the capture of bottom wood on the right. Once the second objective had been captured, the rest of 50 Brigade would advance 
and capture the rest of three corps. Next objective, 50 Brigade, we should advance and capture three corps wood. 62nd Brigade will now advance and replace 64th Brigade and 63rd Brigade in the new front line. Three mines will be exploded under the German front line to form craters which would block infilade fire from the northern face of the German strong point. A German tambour against units advancing from the tambour. A German strong point in the fortified village of Freecore. The German strong points at Sausage Redoubt and Scots Redoubt will need to be destroyed in the five day bombardment. Otherwise, heavy casualties will be caused by machine gun fire from these positions. 7th Division will attack towards the village of Metz with 21st Division on its left and 13th Corps with 18th Division on its right. 91st Brigade will attack on the right and 20th Brigade in the centre. One battalion and 22nd Brigade would only advance when the second objective had been captured. The rest of the brigade was in reserve. The German defenders were under the 9th Reserve Regiment. The first objective the 20th Brigade was to advance on the left and set up a defensive flank facing Free Corps. The 91st Brigade would advance and capture the village of Mermetz, go as far as Bunny Trents and Danzig Alley. The second objective, the 91st Brigade, would to advance and capture on the left Bunny Alley and the German intimate line of Fritz Trench on the right. The battalion of 22nd Brigade would now advance in two steps and set up a defensive flank facing Free Corps Wood. For the third and final objective, 91st Brigade would advance and catch a cliff trench on the left and the German intimate line of White Trench on the right. Four small mines have been placed under the German front line. Three under Kiel Trench and one under Danube Trench. The mine has been placed under a German sap and the German strong point called the Bolger Point was just out into no man's land. The fortified villages of Remetz and Free Corps and the Strum Point at Pommies Redoubt will need to be destroyed in the five day bombardment. Otherwise, heavy casualties will be caused by machine gun fire from these positions. <laughs> 18th Division was advanced with 30th Division on its right and 15th Corps with 7th Division on the left. 54th Brigade would attack on the left, 53rd Brigade in the centre and 55th Brigade on the right. The German defenders were 109th Reserve Regiment. The first objective of the 55th Brigade was to capture off part of Mine Alley and Train Alley on the right and for 53rd Brigade and 54th Brigade would be to capture the German intermittent line the Pommies Trench. These were to be captured after 20 minutes. The second objective for the brigades was for the 55th Brigade to capture the Triangle on the right, 53rd Brigade to capture Montreban Alley in the centre, and 54th Brigade to capture Maple Trench on the Pommies Redoubt on the left. These were to be captured after one hour. The third and final objective, the 55th Brigade on the right, was to advance and catch a part of Montauban Alley, 200 yards north of the Montauban Mermetz Road. 53rd Brigade's final objective was 500 yards beneath Montauban Alley on the right and set up a defensive flank along East Trench, which ran between Montauban Alley and Caterpillar Wood. 54th Brigade's final objective would be to advance 600 yards north of the Mermetz. Montalban Road and catch White Trench. The attack will be completed after 2 hours 30 minutes. The final act for the division will be to push out scouts into Caterpillar Valley. Two mines were to be blown under the German front line at Austrian Trench, one just over in the 7th Division area and the Lure in the 18th Division area. A mine was to be blown under the German front line trenches at Casino Point. Two mines were to be blown under the German front line and mine trench. The German strong points at the castle, the loop, the warren, Pommies, Redoubt and the triangle will need to be destroyed in the five day bombardment. 
No worries, heavy casualties will be caused by machine gun fire from these positions. 30th Division was advanced with 18th Division on the left and the French 39th Division of 20 Corps on the right. 21st Brigade was advanced on the left and 89th Brigade on the right, with 90th Brigade advancing later on. The German defenders were 23rd Regiment on the left and 6th Regiment on the right. The first objective, 89th Brigade on the right, would be the capture of Dublin Trench and 21st Brigade on the left was to capture Train Alley and the glitz redoubled. Both objectives were to be captured after one hour. The 3rd Brigade, the 90th, was to move up at 9.30am to pass through the leading brigades and catch a Montreban, the second and final objective. It was advanced as far as Montreban Alley, where defensive positions would be set up. Once Montreban had been captured by 90th Brigade, units of 89th Brigade would attack and capture the good tree. A brick factory on the right of the attack, the South of Berlin Farm would used by Germans as a reserve repost. The German strong points at Glitz, Redoubt, Dublin, Redoubt, the Warren and the Triangle would need to be destroyed in the five day bombardment otherwise heavy casualties would be caused by machine gun fire from these positions. Future films will be based on the operations of the following divisions on said day 1st of July 1916 46th Division 56th Division 31st Division 4th Division 29th Division 36th Division 32nd Division 8th Division 34th Division 21st Division 7th Division 18th Division 30th Division The first six films will be on the attack of 46th Division on Guma Corps covering Film 1, Introduction Film 2, British Units Film 3, German Units Film 4, Attack Plan Film 5, The Attack Film 6, Aftermath If you would like to support the channel financially so that I can keep producing these films you can do so by Patreon or Paypal details in the description box If you want to be informed when the next film will be coming out, please click on the subscribe button.